Jim, first of all, apologies for the interview on uh, Boxing Day, which didn't come out, unfortunately, with the sound. So uh, it wasn't your fault, it was just a technical issue. Mm -hmm. Today, what do we say? This Very disappointed, yeah. We, you know, we've done a, we've come in Thursday, we've trained, we've looked over and spoke about things, we've come in Saturday, you know, we've done a lot of uh, shape work and set plays. Um, sometimes when you're struggling for results, you try something different. We've identified, you know, what Kersen did well on Boxing Day. Um, you know, trying to get through the gaps in the back line when they were splitting our back four with, with runners wide and midfielders going through. Uh, but when you study the game back like I did on Boxing Day, you know, first 45 minutes were, yeah. were looking very wavy of our lead and were frustrating the uh, the opposition, the home side. Uh, a killer one, obviously, is the, the the ball into the box. Can we get pressure on Big it? Big moment that was. Big wasn't moment. It? We've got 3v2 in the box yeah. and we haven't done enough to to block moles who gets in and puts it in so suddenly they get a shot in the arm when the half time whistle goes it was actually you know the, the keepers made a good save from Brad Holmes right mm -hmm. on half time mm -hmm. we could have been coming in 3-0 yeah. you know from a throw that landed to him on the edge of the box so it all seemed to change from that moment though it didn't did it? well again when I looked over it they had a little bit well, obviously more possession but you know we're not good enough in possession we've mm -hmm. done no work on it it's We've been good on the counter attack. We've done a little bit more now, and I think we're starting to show a little bit more with the ball. You know, there was evidence of that today. But, um, you know, it's probably 65, 70 minutes. The killer, obviously, is the goal, the second goal on Boxing Day. Yeah. You know, it's a fantastic strike from Hughes, but from our point of view, we're on the attack. We haven't plugged a space that Tyler's left, and, and the lads had a free shot, and we haven't done enough to block the shot. And that continued today, really, well, didn't but it? When you, you go to 2-2, two -two and you're giving them a home side who come from 2-0 down, obviously the last 20-25 minutes is the, the biggest part of the game that most of the people remember, because it's the, mm. the later stages. Yeah. And it was all hands to the pump to, to try and get a draw. But if I'm being honest, very much like, you know, credit to Kers, and, you know, they're a good outfit, they've been at the top end, they're in the playoffs. Um, you know, and they've got the win on, on Boxing Day and they thought they deserved the win today. But I think what we've been doing well, as I say, October, November, and I'm, I'm meaning basics, mm. <laughs> we've just gone away from that. Yeah. You know, can the first goal, you know, be avoided on Boxing Day? 100%. You know, the second one, it was a good strike, credit where credit's due, but from our point of view, we haven't got into an area good enough to put pressure on them and certainly we haven't defended the box with regards to getting it with the ball. The third one was scandalous, mm -hmm. you know, how easy it was to get in and how easy it was. I've worked with Jimmy Spencer for a year and know what he's, uh, what he's all about and he's 19, 20 yeah. on loan at Morecambe from mm -hmm. Huddersfield. But I think he'd scored two or three league goals in 20 other appearances before we played them on Boxing Day. Yeah, and now he goes and gets three and two. And if you look at the goals, two of them are tapping and three yards out. Mm -hmm. How can your number nine be that spare in the middle of the goal? And there's not a centre half in, in sight. So. That's exactly the same today. I'm disappointed in how the you know well, the second goal. You know you can you can pick the bones out the three the other day. Not so much the second one, but today the first goal is just. You know we've started the game quite brightly. Mm -hmm. We've had a couple of opportunities. I think Bird said we've had three opportunities in the first six seven minutes. The ball across the box, counter attack through Brad, shot from the edge of the box, work to keep it a little bit. It looks all right. So when you work. As we did on Saturday for that long, you've got to give yourself a foundation for the, you know, for it to work and get the benefits from it. And we actually started quite well, but mm. goals change games, and certainly when you're struggling for the result, you know what's happened today. We've gone one 0 down, and we give a team in the playoffs a leg up, who suddenly start playing with a bit more confidence and freedom, and a team who's struggling for the results suddenly yeah. becomes it, it just yeah. didn't get going. The crowd didn't get going because it we flat, didn't wasn't it? we didn't give the crowd anything to yeah. get going. We started quite well, but once you go one 0 down. You know, in the manner in which we go down, mm. it's far too easy. You know, and that's the disappointing and frustrating thing for me is that we haven't, you know, all that work and the preparation for hours looking over bits and where the hurt is and where we can hurt them. And you go through things for an hour on Saturday and you're on the pitch and you're doing your bits and you're thinking, right, I fancy here. We've got Brad Holmes who's got four, five, four, four goals in seven or eight games down the middle with Richie Bennett. We, you know, we've got creativity. You know, we, we know with regards to the wide areas, it's a trade-off against formations. You know, we, we looked at Tyler Walton up against Richards in the game on Boxing Day when we got him on the left and he got some powerful runs in and you think, go on, it's a 1v1 opportunity. And as I say, it started well, but we just give them the leg up with the goal. Now, mm. just said in the previous interview, that's not to say as soon as the first goal goes in, it's, it's game over. But, you know, it, we have seen it, or it's happened before I've come to the club. Yeah. And and I've seen the traits there that 
you know, the alarm bells for me were more at 3-0. Mm. No comeback. We, you know, the games we've been beat, 2-0 Peterborough, 1-0 Chester, 1-0 Banbury, mm. 3-0 today, 4-0 against Kings Lynn. Yeah. Once we go 1-0, it just seems to... at the end, doesn't it? You know, and as you can say, I'll keep going all day long and try and motivate you and just find yourself frustrated. But as I say, the, the goals today, you've got the first ones, are, you know, it's just a, 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 a mad, poor mistake. How do you pick the lads up now, Jim, after that? Well, we've got to do that, but as I say, if you, if you look at the goals, what we've been doing well in November, uh, you know, you get manager of the month and all yeah. that, and suddenly everyone's thinking, <laughs> We're not getting that again, are we, we? we might go little run for the playoffs, etc, etc, yeah. but ultimately that's, that's football. You know, you yeah. see at the top level, Arsenal lost a few, Chelsea haven't got mm. going Bournemouth, but really poor and then won five on the spin or something like that. And Brentford have gone the other way, and that's at the very, very top mm. level. So it can happen at any level. Yeah. But ultimately, it's all about the next game. All you can do is review what's happened. And if I look at you know the way we've played today, I think there were spells where we were better with the ball. We still need to create more. We still got to get our better movement. You know, we haven't done loads of in possession stuff. Mm. We did quite a bit on Thursday, uh, and there was there was there was evidence of that to a certain extent. It's going to take time. But defensively, what we were doing really well, as I say, November, mm. we can see that a second phase set play had scum for on a, on a, a bit of a freaky one against Fars, where they got caught in the wind and just yeah. ended up in the back of our net. But apart from that, we were robust. Mm -hmm. But then if you look at what we're doing now, Jimmy Spencer's had two trappings from three yards. Yeah. You know, the ball today, it's a free kick down the side. The ball's too easy into the box. We've anticipated going out of play. They've anticipated staying in play, keeping it alive. And Stefan Moles, who's five foot seven, he gets a free header from mm. three or four yards. Mm. So, you know, the, we know where we're at. We haven't been good enough defensively. We haven't given ourselves a foundation, and we're always trying to claw ourselves back into games. But what we've got to do is that you've got to keep, you know, you've got to keep settled. We know where we're at. We know what we need to do to improve. Um, whether that be from outside players coming in or players within the building. We're in a better position than what we were, certainly when I come into the club. Yeah. But those old states have shown again that mm. you can see one can come become two and three and the confidence saps out of I said a couple of weeks ago how important the first goal is in football. But then you get your first goal on boxing day. You yeah. come two nil. <laughs> two nil up, and then you know, we, we, we let them off the hook. Yeah. You know, and they're a good side case and but yeah. you can't you can't certainly two nil up you know, last kick of the half on Boxing Day, mm. it's too easy to score against yeah. us. There's no contact on the box, we haven't done enough yeah. to keep it out and protect Chris's goal. That's happened today. We give him a leg up, you know, after five minutes today, six minutes, whatever it was, and they go 1 0 up, and then uh, it's all hands to the pump. We've still show bits and pieces. If it, use an example, a good pass and move down the right, fantastic ball from Matty Thompson right along the six yard box. We've got three or four in the box ready to tap it in, but no one's anticipating mm. and getting on the end of it. Yeah. They do the same to us with the ball in the box from Spencer to keep it alive and Moles anticipating it. Well always five foot seven or something. He goes and he goes yeah. and gets ahead of from three yards. Yeah. So I won't blame all on you know, can we do better defensively? And that's not just all the defenders or the goalkeeper. You know, the, the second goal the other day, like I said to you, mm. Tyler Walton's gone on a run and it's exactly in Tyler's position on the pitch when they have that shot, who's filled in, who's plugged the gap. So there is elements that we can pick out on every goal we conceded. Maybe the second one at their place was, was more well good play than bad play. Yeah. But um, we're too, we've been too easy to, to play against. So as I say, we either, you either sink or swim, and that's the way it is, that's life. As I say, we were on a great run of results. We get loads of pats on the back and awards and all that, yeah. and then suddenly, you find yourself in a difficult position. Having said that, I must say, scum for up away, top of the league, I think they'll win the league. Yeah. Tamway for away, second in the league. Cares and back to back, full, you know, in the um, in the playoffs, good side. Uh, Kings Lynn, who think in a, in a false position, full time club before the ball was kicked, mm. probably in the top two or three favourites. I think they'll get out of it. They'll be they'll be strong. We've got two big ones coming up now, haven't we? I two teams below us in in that. That's, that's what that's it's going to come to. Well, I just said before. You know, we're coming into a, into a big month. Mm. We've got obviously the the, the the game today, start of a new month, start of a new year. Everything's gone, has gone. Got to learn from it and, and get better. But we've we've been too easy to play against, too easy mm. to score against. Um, but now, 
we're coming to a couple of critical games with teams in and around us, Downs and Gloucester, Spenny Moore, who I don't know how they've got on or you know, they were three points ahead of us yeah. I think. Um so we're playing teams in and around us and we can't afford to Point continue to this run. We've got to try and get back sooner rather than later. Very much like when I first come into the club. You know, so it's we'll identify what we can do within. Can we improve from outside the club? Can we bring anyone in? We're always striving to get better, we're always looking to to get players in, but uh, as I say, collectively we haven't been good enough. We just come off the gas individually. One or two players aren't playing at the the top end of the game like we were when we were on these runs. You know, five unbeaten, lost three, bounced back, five mm -hmm. or six unbeaten. Yeah. Suddenly we're going to lose four or five on the spin like we have done, apart from the Buxton game away. And then, uh, you know, as I say, you either feel sorry for yourself and Gloucester will be waiting to put the boot in where it hurts, or we've got to. Pick ourselves up. Pick and ourselves again. up. Accept responsibility and accountability for performances. What can we do better? And uh, we're not asking the lads to do something that they haven't done previously. But if it continues, obviously mm. there's an issue there. So that's that's where we're at at the minute. It's a frustrating day. You know, it's uh, not the ideal start of the new year. I'm disappointed in way in the manner in which we lost. The manner in which we started the game after a pretty promising first couple of minutes to, to hand the a good side and lead like that today was just criminal and obviously yeah. it, it, it was difficult to get going from there on and off the pitch yeah. you know that's no criticism against anyone but we've got to do better to ignite and, yeah, and, and generate that little bit of noise which we've had you know yeah. quite a few times since I've been here but we've just come off the gas certainly uh, in the last last few games ultimately which cost us in a few defeats and it's drifting down the tables where we don't want to be okay thanks Jim okay